yes, basically uh, in the last 15, 20 years, a lot of efforts have been done in uh, uh, treating patients with atrial fibrillation to uh, trying to reduce at the most the risk of having a stroke. And uh, in this work, a big part has been done with the introduction of the new oral anticoagulants like the Bigadran, Apixaban, Rivaroxaban, or Edoxaban. And uh, actually that work succeeded. And we can see now that the stroke risk is very low in general in the atrial fibrillation population. What we're finding now is that we have a new enemy, we could say, that is the risk of death, and in particular the risk of cardiovascular death. All the studies uh, goes in, go in the same direction, saying that patients with other fibrillation have a high risk of death and cardiovascular death. So what we need today is a new way to treat at fibrillation patients, and this new way have been found, has been found in the concept of the integrated care, meaning a way to treat at fibrillation patients in a multi-level, with a multi-level approach, with different kind of professionals that look at the patients and work with the patients in order to reduce at the most the uh, risk of any adverse event, in particular that. And some data has uh, shown that this kind of approach is successful. But now we need new way to operationalize this concept. And uh, Professor Lip, a couple of years ago, has proposed the ABC pathway. That is a simple way to streamline the application of an integrated care in patients with other fibrillation. And I'm going to discuss this specific issue showing what is uh, the evidence at the moment, what is uh, the, what are the new data coming out and what would be the future of this approach.